it's not that social security costs are inherently growing unsustainably. It's that there's a big deviation between social security's costs and social security's revenue. Uh, the program is, first of all, it's our largest federal government program. It's also meant to be completely a self-funded program. But since 2010, the revenue we collect has fallen significantly short and by a growing amount um, relative to the money that we're paying out mostly to seniors. Uh, that situation is going to get worse as the baby boomers transition to retirement. This isn't kind of a, a one-time hump. This is a permanent demographic transition. Baby boomers are just taking the lead on. Um, birth rates are now kind of at, at a uh, replacement rate. So we have kind of that one-time transition that is going to dramatically increase costs and already is. On top of that, we're living longer. Uh, and, and the result is we have a system that is significantly underfunded even on a pay-as-you-go basis or especially on a pay-as-you-go basis. Luckily, from the perspective of the trust fund, um, during the 90s and, and 2000s, we saved some, we put some money aside. We ran some surpluses, whether that's um, kind of surpluses for the economy, we can argue, but there's surpluses in the program, which means that even though the spending is well in excess of the revenue, we have time. But that time is starting to run short. The, the Social Security trustees say we have 17 years until the trust fund runs out. Uh, shameless promotion of my organization. If you Google CRFB, how old will I be when Social Security's funds runs out? We have a cool little online tool where you can enter your birth year and it'll tell you how screwed you are. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Sounds scary. <laughs> if you're 50 today, by the time you reach the normal retirement age, the Social Security Trust Fund will have run out. If you are 62, the youngest retiree, by the time you're 80. In other words, people in the program today are still going to be in the program when the Social Security Trust Fund runs out. My daughter was born last year. It's going to run out when she's 17 years old. Um, she stands to lose, assuming she's average wages in lifetime, uh, $250,000, right? Because when the fund runs out, the law says we have to cut benefits down to revenue. Um, now, is that going to happen? Are we going to cut benefits by 23%, 24%? Probably not. But time is running out to come up with a thoughtful solution where we can make gradual changes to, to benefits. Um, if you think about it, we always don't want to touch current beneficiaries. We don't want to touch people over age 55. Um, that means the window is short if we want to do any of this on the benefit side. Maybe we have five years or so. Um, and on the revenue side, um, certainly you can solve a portion of the problem by raising that tax cap or even raising the rate. Um, but even if you eliminate the tax cap, doesn't solve the issue, um, and you would need a substantial middle class tax increase if you want to solve this all on the tax side. So really, um, if we want to make gradual changes to the program that are revenue or benefits or both, uh, we need to start 10 years ago.